now we are here with uh, Pierre Magistretti, the Ibros president. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. You're welcome. So, uh, President, is the first time that the Congress comes to Latin America, isn't it? Yes, this is uh, true. <laughs> it's the first time. The Congress takes place every four years. And uh, the idea is that uh, we should cover areas uh, of the world because Ibro is a worldwide organization. I think it's very fitting that uh, the Congress is in, in Latin America at this time because clearly um, there is a very remarkable emergence and and uh, emerging strength of uh, neuroscience in, in Latin America, in particular uh, in Brazil. So uh, I think it's a recognition of uh, the achievements of uh, neuroscience in this part of the world that, that has been underscored by having the, the meeting here in, uh, in, in Rio. So, very welcome. <laughs> president, uh, how has your year as president gone so far? Well, it's, uh, um, Ibro is a well-oiled machine, I have to say. Uh, the headquarters uh, in Paris uh, are, you know, run all the uh, major activities uh, uh, of Ibro. Uh, as you know, Ibro is organized in regions, so each region comes up with a proposal for organizing schools, for um, um, organizing congresses, also special events. and provides a budget to Ibro uh, Central and then uh, depending on the funds you know these budgets are uh, met and so the local organizers can organize the, the, the Ibro events and as I said these are mostly schools uh, which are very important yeah, uh, sure. for, uh, for the development of, uh, uh, of neuroscience and also I would say for the uh, um, helping the emergence of new talent from uh, all over the world. Uh, this is, I think, one of the strengths of Vibro, to support uh, talents uh, around the world. So this year we have had schools in the different regions. We have had, um, uh, well, we have <laughs> this big event here, uh, the Ibro Congress. Um, and, uh, of course, we, the other activities include uh, um, support fellowships for travel, uh, for exchanges between labs. Um, so, uh, all sorts of activities that really uh, support uh, neuroscience worldwide. And uh, so this, this has been going well so far this year. Um, we also have an interesting program which is the Global Advocacy Program for which Ibro is a coordinator. This is a, is a program that is aimed at uh, improving uh, communication with the general public, also to sensitize decision makers worldwide. And uh, Ibro is uh, um, uh, overseeing, is actually coordinating the activities of many organizations, the Society for Neuroscience, FENS, the, the European mm -hmm. uh, Neuroscience, the Japanese, uh, uh, Australian, Society for Neurochemistry, the Dana Foundation, all these groups that are interested in public understanding of science for global advocacy. Uh, meet regularly to uh, support initiatives that, uh, of course, uh, have to be targeted in each region to the local sensitivity. And I think Great. that's why Ibro has been chosen as a coordinator of these mm -hmm. activities because of the worldwide um, dis distribution that Ibro can ensure uh, being close to the uh, local needs and at the same time having a, a global view. Presence. What are you most looking forward to at this year's Congress? At this uh, Congress? Uh, first of all, the, the presentation, the scientific presentations. I think the program that has been put together by the International Program Committee is uh, an outstanding uh, with scientific program in terms of quality of the speakers and uh, the topics that have been selected. So, as a scientist, I really very much look forward to being able to attend uh, as many as uh, possible lectures or symposia. And also, I think it's, uh, it's an important opportunity, I think, for Ibro to be present uh, in, in Latin America uh, physically, I would almost say, so we can meet um, um, people that are involved in, in, in scientific uh, policies uh, uh, in, in this region and, and again, carry the, um, the message of Ibro to promote the worldwide neuroscience. So I hope that this message, and I know uh, a lot of been done in terms of communication by the organizer of the Ibro Congress, and uh, I think they did a fantastic job. 
and, uh, and, and this is part of what I expect as a positive consequence of the meeting to be uh, uh, able to sensitize uh, in this region even more great, uh, decision great. makers and policy makers about the importance of supporting neuroscience. Sure. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Enjoy the Congress. Thank you very much for the interview. <laughs> You're welcome. Bye-bye.